Hey there, this is Angie M. I had filmed the unboxing for this particular cover from Naya Papery, but I wasn't I wasn't thrilled with with it and I needed to do my planner play anyway, so I just thought I would come back and really just just film a little bit uh, a little bit differently. So this is from Naya Papery. It is a leather planner cover in Goldie. So it looks like this. There's no back. There's no back pocket. It beautifully fits my one-inch discs in HP Mini. I am stretching the leather pen pen loop for the pen. I also like the the width of the clasp closure. I was a little bit nervous because on their site it it looked like their closures were thinner, but this is actually perfectly proportioned. So I was pleasantly surprised by that. It is a thinner leather, more in line with my Filofax original. Slightly floppier than that material though. I think there is, if not a stiffener in the Filofax leather, the colored port, the top colored portion of the leather is stiffer than the inner leather and gives it just a touch more structure but it's nowhere near as structured as a cloth and paper cover. I, I'm kind of torn on that because this is similar to Filofax which is what I am used to and used for years prior to this. I don't know if I'm gonna like it more or less or if it's just different. So let's Let's get into it. I did do, and I love that this lays flat or at least flat-ish as opposed to curved over. I did upgrade for the invisible clasp closure as opposed to an elastic band closure. And I did, again, I did get the pen loop. The pen loop, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I like it and I hate it all at the same time, but that's on every planner. So there we go. There are three credit card slots. I like I like that they're what I'm going to call kind of hidden slots. As you can see, there there is both gold and silver glitters on here. So it says that it's light gold glitters. There's definitely light gold, but there, I don't know if it's just the lighting and I don't know if the lighting here will help to capture it, but there's definitely light gold and then what looks like silver glitters. Then there are two pockets. These are not quite... I don't think they would be wide enough for my passport. I do like that my one card here with the pumpkins sticks up and then I can stick up deco in the second pocket and then there are the three credit card slots. And then you have two pockets here. They did send me a freebie two sheets of days of the week stickers, which I really appreciate. And then this actually matches perfectly with my current deco. It, it is a little bit, so the slot I have it slid into is just a little bit bigger than the cloth and paper, the current HP Mini that I am using. I am not mad about it, 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 work, it works out just fine for me. So this is what it would be if I slid that all the way in and then it kind of goes out to the edge. So if it's out a little bit, it's great. When it did come, it wasn't in a box, so it is. It did get a little bit pressed down, so hopefully the leather will will retrain and curve beautifully around. I did not want a back pocket. There's also an extra pocket in the back for anything you want to conceal back there. I don't know how much I'm going to use the back pocket. I tend not to use them in my planners, so I am really happy with this cover from Naya Papery. Would I order another one? You know, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use it. I am, and here is their little, their little stamping in. I, I do like it, and I think that if I did another one, like if I did a cover for my half letter, I would probably do more of a solid leather color without this. I really like the lightness of this particular color. It reminds me of an undyed with sparkly. So I'd probably like it an undyed or somewhere leaning towards a, a beige tan saddle type type color if I were to do my half letter. They do not currently have a half letter offering. I did find the mini HP offering on their site by accident. I had originally been looking at reaching out to them to customize an HP mini cover based on what they had. And then when I found it, I ordered it. So 
there it is. Also shout out to DHL who did a fantastic job of getting this to me super quickly. It is actually to me about a month earlier than I thought it would be based on their production dates. So I don't know if it was super easy to, to produce or if they were getting it out quickly because I ordered just before their Black Friday event. I had a discount code, I think through, through a YouTuber. So I did use, use that as well. And then they do have the, the raw edge is painted. Now I don't believe, I believe the raw edge is actually free on, on my Philo facts. So I was expecting it honestly to just, to just be the raw leather edge. I do appreciate that little bit of detail there. One thing to note about this type of detail is that on leather, this does wear over time. I do believe if you reach out to them, you could probably find out the color that they use or the brand that they use and either order that yourself and actually just do a very neat spot repair, or you could go to a leather works and they could repair it for you if this does wear out. Same thing with handbags. Um, there are, if you search, just search on YouTube, like Le leather works, there are a number of leather work channels that will actually show you how to do this and how they do this in their process. So that's how I know it's a, it's a paint and it is something you can touch up yourself. So that is it. A little less bulky than the cloth and paper cover. Definitely. It does feel like the back here, like it, it angles. It is a little bit on a slope, but I think that has more to do with, with just the product. I'm, I'm not bothered by it. I don't think anything is going to get, you know, damaged when I shove it in my bag like this. So there is that. Now let's get on to what we were going to be talking about. Dun, 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 dun. So I have my half letter and we are going to be stepping into January here in my half letter for this planner play. I did reorganize the tabs in my HP mini, but my goals section in my mini is not built out the same way my goal section is built out here in the half letter. So I am gonna leave that alone. At some point, I do think I would like to do some custom tabs, but I don't think I'm at that point yet and we are gonna be changing out these guys. So I just pulled, just pulled my sheets and I really do January, February, March, April. I really do like the clear plastic more. At some point I would like to get clear with the lettering in black instead of gold, but I'm not overly worried about right now. I will leave December in as it is. So I'm just gonna pop out January here. And then I'm gonna pop January in. Really, really, really quickly. Okay. All right, then I have the others I need. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm just gonna set it aside, set it aside. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why I have this guy up here instead of as a bottom tab, but we'll, we'll, we'll dissect that later. All right. I'm gonna leave the flags on these as opposed to doing the tape strips that I did that you will see at some point in my other planner. I'm just going to, I know February got mixed in on this one for the start when I picked it up. So I'm just gonna put in February. And I think I just have the month of February in here already. Okay, and then I have this capsule. I'm trying to use these sheets if I recall to, but I probably won't. Because, you know, me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's up to April. All right, so it's February. April. All right, I don't want May. Okay, so here are the inserts that I need. I am just grabbing them from my box, which you saw in the last planner play video. I'm not going to. We're, we're going to talk about the box a little bit more when I talk about. Um, I think 
planner storage slash planner supplies is where that will go. I, I have a whole storage series that I've got planned for when it comes down to it in terms of how I'm going to actually store 2020 in archival fashion. And I think I have settled, I think, I think, I hope, I crossed my fingers and I think I have settled on the shelving unit that I want from Ikea with some additional stuff and I did the pricing and it's just, I'm gonna have to wait until, I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to save up some money and probably in the beginning of 2021, I will, I will get to that portion of this. I'm trying not to put stuff on credit. I'm trying not to be that person who's just like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it now. And it's, it's the kind of thing where I think if I just give myself a couple of months to simmer on what I may want to do, I totally just, uh, just jacked up February, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I did not even think about that. Let me see. Let me just see here. Okay. All right, so let's go back. I feel really scattered today. That's how I feel. That I think that is the best way to preface it, is I'm just kind of scattered. So let me pop that in here, and then I have March, and then that is the end of these weekly capsules from cloth and paper. So my inserts here and my dividers are from cloth and paper. And you can see this is how this guy curves up. My HP video did it too where it's just kind of in the way. And I tried sort of bending and training the leather, but it, it doesn't wanna, it doesn't wanna lay flat. It's a thing. So we're gonna ignore December and I'm going to just pull out these guys here. I wanna see if I have any tape left because what I found in the HP mini is the actual tape from the sets of shapes worked really, really, really beautifully. And I like using these, these vinyl sticker tabs. I've been using the small freebies from Cloth and Paper. I absolutely, I absolutely love them. I also did order some tab pieces from Shine Sticker Studio because they had, because I needed more. I like the sticker tabs so that I can put them in various books and I am completely out of the tape, so. That is good, that is good. We have been on a journey to use some stuff up. So, let me just flip to January here. I ha already have a start on important days, days that are our holidays, all that yummy stuff here. I believe this, I can't, I don't know yet for my company if it's gonna be the second or the fifth that we're gonna get for the fourth, so I don't have that guy filled in. So if you see things like that, it's just because I, I don't, literally don't know yet. So my schedule for posting on YouTube is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I already have, have those highlighted out here. I have something that is static that is always due on Thursdays. So I have that highlighted. This is a holiday for my office and um, MLK is gonna be a holiday for my office as well. So those are already highlighted so I can see them. Now, do I have important days in January? Yes, yes indeedy, I do. I was just wondering if I already had any dots out. So I'm gonna pull them out of my HP Mini, which is what I'm using right now. So the 12th and the 16th are important days. Eventually I will be color coordinated with my stuff, except cloth and paper keeps coming out with new colors and really challenging me. So in here, I am off these days, which is why I have the tabs over it. In the half letter, these, these page flags work perfectly. So the tape in the HP mini worked better than using, using up page flags. But that is, that is what you see there. So a holiday, I'd run out of the color. So there's a holiday and then back to regular filming schedule. I think what's going to happen in 2021 is I am going to try to use 
the days that I don't post to YouTube as either posting videos to face my Facebook page, um, just revamping my Facebook page or posting photos to my Insta just so that I fill in that gap. Once I know what I'm going to be filming on those days, I will write that in to help me with the schedule. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that. And the reason I don't know if I'm going to stick with this is because I am going to be using a spiral A5 specifically dedicated toward my filming. So there's that. It's always a thing to think about. And then... <laughs> To remind myself I have special things on these days. I'm just gonna put those there. And then let's see. Alright, so I really this is from the planner spot. They had they had these as a freebie. I really, really like them and I would love to see them as a sheet. I love the canceled rescheduled because they are just I think they're perfect for like days off and just as a, a nice reminder, I really, really, really enjoyed the way that they looked. I don't know why I have that there is a to-do. Oh, because something's always due on Thursday. So that's why that's there. All right, so you can see I really haven't filled in priorities. This I've had since the beginning of this year. I had enough where I had just used them because I was planning on using the weekly capsule capsule originally as, as my planner. And it just, it, it really didn't, it just didn't work out for me. So. <laughs> So that is why you are seeing that. So February, the only important day in February is my birthday. So we'll just put that there. And do I have any stickers that I want to throw down? So I'm just looking through my sticker book right here. I think I know what I might want. Hmm, kitty, kitty or lovey otter. I'm gonna go with lovey otter. I love this little lovey otter. So we're just going to put him right there. There we go. A little love for me. And I'm not sure what deco is going to go in here. I have talked about this before. I'm in my mini HP right now. I have a feeling size-wise I'm going to be back in this guy actually in, in February. So right now, oh, hold on, hold on. And I don't have my days highlighted. So I have four brightish markers and I have fallen in love with the color chartreuse. So I am going to pick up my chartreuse Tombow here. I'm just gonna go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know, it's the weirdest color, but I really like it. And then do I want to continue with page flags? I don't know. That is, that, that's like the question. So what I think I will do is I am going to use February as sort of a test to do something different. Friday, Sunday. And this is, this layout is, I call their weekly dailies. It is a week on four pages. But to me, it's not quite, if I'm being honest, it's not quite what I would consider a weekly layout. It's, Cloth and Paper calls it their, their dailies. So it's, what it is, is it is an abbreviated space. So if you're like me, and sometimes you need a whole page, that's great. Sometimes you need a little bit less. Well, this is, this is what they are they're giving and I I do I, I kind of like it because most days I don't need a whole page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a notepad that I'm going to show you in just a second I realize I just didn't put anything down on my birthday that's that's all right that's all right and there's the 28th so I am not going to continue into March and April marking off individual days I'm just going to do the month and I'm going to do it in a different color Tombow. So as I said, I have some bright colors that I rather like. I'm going to bring in my Rubine Red, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. 
like Saturdays are reserved for like get ready with me videos if I do a get ready with me video for makeup, that kind of stuff. Look at that, look at that ruby and red. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. All right. I am going to take, so I have willow green as a green, but we're, we're just gonna take our blue right here. I forget what this is called, but it's 373. I believe it is sea blue. But you can see it just, it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. All right, so there is that. And then I'm just gonna really, 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 really over here. So from Falk and Paper, I just have this desk pad that came in a sub box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch it, fold it in half and throw it in here because it's not double sided for, I'm gonna use it for like lists, reminders that I need to make for myself if I need more space than I have actually inside of of the insert itself and this works in the HP mini as well so I could move it from place to place if I really really needed to and that is really the versatility that I'm going for so I'm not over planning I'm trying not to over plan because I am going to be in at any given time I will be running three different planners at once so um four four because I plan on using my monthly desk pad for my workouts Hi, and I'm a girl that wanted everything in one planner. It's not quite working out for me. Cloth and paper needs to quit sending stuff, and I say this knowing that they're sending more stuff in the December box. So that is a thing. But this is my half letter. When I'm using my big hand bag, it's, it's inch and a half discs. It's perfectly portable in my bigger purse slash in a book bag or briefcase. I I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And right now, this is a printable that I had from Infinite Lotus. And then I've got dailies from Sterling Ink Design in here in case I want to switch to it for 2020. At some point in December, I'm really torn. At least once a day, I look at it longingly like I, I kind of want to switch back into this guy. But I think that might not happen until January. Now these front pages here... Every time I think I don't need this, I always, this year at a glance, I always end up kind of switching back. So what could happen is year at a glance, I might just go to a one pager. Like if I can find a printable that I like or something, maybe I'll just do that instead of this two page, two pager open spread. I'm gonna track stuff on here that's gonna be in my planner otherwise. So it just doesn't, I don't think it's gonna be a fit for me. But again, every time I say that and I get rid of one, then I end up wanting one. So there you go. But this is this is what she looks like. She's not busy, she's not fancy, she's just she's a planner. And I do like that I have the months separate of the actual weekly planning. That way, if I wanted to go back to a system where I'm in the office and I just want the months at the beginning and then I want the actual individual months separate out because maybe I use this for work, whereas I use, you know, I use the actual planner pages for personal and other stuff. We'll just, we'll have to see. We'll have to see once we hit. Once we hit, you know, 2021 also with the inch and a half discs, I have five months in here, whereas I only have four months in my HP Mini. So my HP Mini is one inch disc. So that is the difference in sizing between these. And as I said, I've got more in terms of goals in here, goal planning and five-year plan is also in here. This guy really was meant to be my everything planner. And unfortunately, at about the time I started trying to to use it, um, things changed and we ended up, you know, work very much work from home. So this, it kind of stopped being an everything planner and just kind of went to, to sitting. So we'll see, we'll see in, in 2021. So I said that I would be using multiple planners. Again, since this is planner play, I will show you this is from cloth and paper. 
This is their 2021 spiral bound planner. I will be using this for my, my YouTube planning note. I don't have it filled out yet. I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this probably just to show you guys in the beginning of 2021, mainly because my brain hasn't fully wrapped itself around how I wanna use this. Then I have this guy, which is going to stay in my nightstand. This is from Danielle Laporte, and I'm going to use it for daily, weekly check-in journaling type stuff when I get to it. And in 2021, you will see my words for the year. So you'll, at that point, you and I will hopefully have a better understanding on how I'm going to use that guy. And then I've got more time for planner plates. So that's why I'm <laughs> that's why I'm not just trying to run through and show you everything at once. Then I'm going to go to this monthly guy here and how I'm going to use this again. I will pull this out and punch it. Let me show you right now. I'll punch it off camera because then I punched just sitting here, but I'll I didn't even take it out of the plastic yet. I wasn't sure I was gonna use it. I was gonna, I was gonna declutter it and see if I could give it to somebody or, or sell it, but now I'm gonna use it. So hold on, I'm gonna just get a desktop punch here. I'm hands down loving my lavender punch. So this is what it looks like, and then I will fold it in half and stick it in my planner. I might cut this edge off because in the HP Mini, if I'm in the HP Mini, it does it does stick out quite a bit, but you would fold it up to, you'd want it evenly, and you would just fold it right up to the cutouts there. I just kind of score that edge with my nail and then I would have the month I would have the priorities like what do I want to work on am I on a treadmill am I doing weights am I you know am I doing am I doing a you know Pilates ball like what what's actually going on for right now I'm just gonna take a drink here and then you know you can fill in and then track, maybe I track water intake on here as well because it's super important to have a have a decent water intake as you do it. You can have your priorities, you can make any notes about that month. I don't generally log my weight or anything like that because I find that that kind of stuff makes me obsessive. The whole goal with this is to not be obs <laughs> obsessive. So maybe I will start filling this in for December and we can do some test running for December. I have to have I have the extension cord to get to my treadmill my treadmill is behind me I do intend to use it I do feel very out of shape I throughout my pregnancy with my daughter who's now three I managed to stay in shape and I do feel like even though I have been more active with her and just all that good stuff I don't know 2020 has been great in some ways and awful in others in particular just exercise and core strength because you know, here at home, I feel like I used to go up and down the stairs a whole lot more than I do now. I feel like I used to get more workout than I do now. And I'm tired at the end of the day, but I think a big part of the tiredness that I feel comes from not exercising and not being in that. So my body is confused and just wants to go to sleep when in reality, what it needs is a little bit of exercise. So this is what we are going to be hammering away on with this neat little guy here. So stay tuned for more on that and I will catch you in the next one.